What's going on guys, it's Swifty and today I am bringing you a scoreboard tutorial that doesn't have the player offline and it doesn't reset the money every time somebody leaves or joins and it's all command block. The only thing you're really going to need is six command blocks, up to eight if you choose not to do it in your commands, but I'll explain that in just a second. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to add two separate scoreboards. Yes, the system works with two separate scoreboards. You can do it for money, you can do it for kills, you can do it for lives, whatever you're trying to count, you're going to set up the scoreboard pretty much the same way. Now, if you're trying to do like total lives, like, you know, where you're counting down 3, 2, 1, there's a little bit more that goes into it, but we can make a tutorial on that later. Right now, we're going to keep it simple with counting upwards. So if you're doing money, you know, keeping track of how much money you make or how much money you lose, kills if you get kills, so on and so forth, this is how you're going to do that. Now, you can do this part in chat. Um, it's the easiest way to do it. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do it in chat. We'll do it in chat instead of using command blocks. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do scoreboard objectives, add now you need to add an objective and we have to add two of them. The objectives are what the scoreboard is called. So the first one we want to do is keep it simple. It's going to be money, dummy, money. Or if you're doing kills, keep it simple. Do kills, dummy, kills. Whatever your scoreboard is for, keep it simple. Name it the same thing. Scoreboard objectives, add money, dummy, money. Boom. Added new objective, money, successfully. Now we're going to do the exact same command, but we're going to change the name for the second one. It's going to be display of whatever the first one you did was. So scoreboard objectives add. Now this time we're going to do money display dummy. And here's where you get fancy. If you want to do, you're going to add the little S, the two S's and whatever it is. Then you can do, if you want to make it red for kills, if you're doing money, you can do green or uh, gold, which I like to do. Whatever you're doing, you know, you just name it just like this. Boom. So scoreboard objectives add money display dummy and then whatever you want displayed. This is what's going to be on your sidebar. Just like that. So now we added both objectives. If we want to make sure that we added the objectives properly, even if we got the message, we do scoreboard objectives and then do list. And that's going to say showing two objectives on the scoreboard. You have money, which is dummy, and then money, which is time type dummy so money display and money are both active now we're gonna add three command blocks just like this in a row and the bottom one is gonna be an, uh, a repeat unconditional always active and the command for it is test for add a just like that so test for add a repeat unconditional always active this command block is only testing for the players that are online or the players that leave. It's just testing for who's present at any given time. The next command block is going to be a chain conditional, always active. And it's going to be scoreboard. Oh, I accidentally backed out. I'm sorry. It's going to be scoreboard objective. No, no, no. It's going to be scoreboard Players, sorry about that. Players, add at a money display zero. What this is going to do is going to set everybody's money display to zero, or if your kill display to zero. It, whatever it is, you're going to do zero. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be zero to start with. And now we're going to go to the next command block. It's going to be a chain conditional, always active. And this is probably the longest command in this list. And I'll put a description into all the commands um, into the comment section below so you can copy and paste them or uh, so you can actually see where they're written out. But we'll do that in the comments or in the uh, description. So this one is going to be execute at, at a positioned tilde 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 run scoreboard players operation at p the first one you're going to put is your second scoreboard so it's going to be money display equal to at p and then your first scoreboard which is named money 
this command, I'll try to explain it as clearly as possible. This command is basically saying the one that you're going to have displayed on the side, right, is going to mimic the first scoreboard. So the, the, the scoreboard you have displayed is going to reset, but it will not actually reset the money value because it's going to be equal to the first scoreboard at all times. Which means that when somebody leaves and joins, instead of wiping the whole scoreboard to zero or whatever the start is, it's going to just take that person off the scoreboard and re-put up the at P or, or the player's money original. Now off of here, you're going to do a comparator. You're going to skip one and you're going to add an observer with the arrow facing out this way. Behind that, you're going to do one, two, three more command blocks. Just like that. The bottom command block is going to be a impulse unconditional needs redstone. And the command for it is going to be slash scoreboard. Actually, you don't need the slash in command uh, blocks. So it's going to be scoreboard objectives remove and you're going to remove your display so money display now the next one is going to be a chain conditional always active and for this one you're going to do uh, scoreboard objectives add and then you're going to add your display back so money display dummy and then money. Make sure it still matches how your original was, so whatever you wanted it to be. So if you wanted to do gold money, if you wanted to do green money, make sure it matches how you originally did your second uh, scoreboard. So scoreboard objectives, add money display, dummy money. And then the last one is going to be a chain conditional, always active. And this one is gonna be the one that puts up your sidebar. So you're gonna do uh, scoreboard, Objectives. You're going to do scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, and then money display. Boom. Just like that. Now, this redstone, once we put this redstone down, it's going to activate uh, the display on the side. Boom. Just like that. And it's going to set the money to zero. So now when somebody joins the server and leaves the server, it should, if everything's working properly, it should take that person, add them to the, to the scoreboard with a set amount of zero. Then when they leave, it's going to remove them off the scoreboard by, while relieving or while leaving my original amount. So let me go ahead and invite somebody and then we will be right back. All right, and now that I sent the invite, sorry, I wanted to cut. I didn't want to have it waiting there while I was trying to invite somebody. So they should be joining in just a second. Uh, let's see. Bop, bop, bop. And when they join, it should just automatically put them onto the scoreboard. And then when they leave, it'll add them back to the scoreboard. Now, while we wait, let's go ahead and do they join the game. So when we come out out of this, it should say that they have zero money so scoreboard players add and we're going to add at a we're, so we're just going to add it to both players eight hundred dollar or at a money don't add it to the money display because the display is mimicking what the money this our scoreboard has so add it to the money scoreboard let's say eight hundred dollars boom so it adds both of us eight hundred dollars you see they're on the scoreboard now, when they leave, it's going to take them off of the scoreboard without wiping the money that I have into my account. Just like that. So now I have $800 and it didn't reset and they're off the scoreboard. So it doesn't say player offline. And when they rejoin, just to show that it works, when they rejoin, they're going to be left with the $800. So it keeps track even when the players leave the game. So when they rejoin, they still have the original amount that they had before they left. Just like that. So now you can see that she has $800. I have $800. And the scoreboard works. And there's no player offline. 
And, I mean, it's probably the easiest command block scoreboard there is to make. It's just two scoreboards and one mimics the other. When you're making your shops, you have to do the same thing. So, like, say, say Evie purchases uh, a diamond block for, I don't know, uh, $200, right? So, let's say Evie purchases a diamond block for $200 in my shop. So, when you take scoreboard players, remove uh, her money from the money, you want to do money, and then you want to take $200. So, when you're doing your shops, and if y'all want a tutorial on how to make the shops, I'll make one of those as well. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you in the in the chat how this works. So, say she buys a diamond block, we have to remove it from the money scoreboard. And when we do, boom, she's at 600. I'll show you what happens if you remove it from the wrong scoreboard. So, like, say, let's say we move it from money display by accident, right? So, instead of removing it from the actual scoreboard, we remove it, we remove it from money display. Nothing happens. Because money display is mimicking the money scoreboard. So nothing you do to money display is going to change the actual amount of money because that's not the one that's keeping track. That's just for your for your screen so you can look at it. The one that's keeping track is the first scoreboard, the original money. So anytime you remove something, it has to be from the original scoreboard just like that. Now we removed another 200. And then if she leaves again, it doesn't show player offline, maybe for a second, but once the tick happens, it no longer shows them, so they're gone. And guys, if you need any help, and if this tutorial wasn't, you know, if, if it wasn't in depth enough and you need some explanation, just hit me up in the comments and I'll be happy to try and help you the best I can. Uh, if you did like this video or if it did help in any way, leave a thumbs up and a subscribe and a bell notification in case you want to watch any more command block tutorials in the future. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video and hope you guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully with this, you'll have a nice running economic server.